I'm Dr. Daniel Fahim with Michigan Head and Spine Institute. I'm a brain and spine surgeon. I specialize in brain and spine tumors, uh, but I treat all diseases affecting the brain and spine. Um, I want to speak a little bit uh, today about um, overall kind of a spine anatomy and what the spine really does, help my patients understand um, what our spine does and what are some of the things that can go wrong with the spine. So uh, first I'd like to start kind of with a little bit of an overview of the spine. So of course the spine is what helps us kind of stand upright and it uh, allows us to be able to support um, our, our, the rest of our frame, our rib cage, our arms up above, of course the legs attached to the pelvis, um, and so it kind of allows us, it's designed, uniquely designed to allow us to stand upright uh, and be able to uh, walk upright and do all these things um, that are unique to humans. So one of the things that happens is when we're, when we're, when we're overweight or when we carry too much weight in our body, sometimes we're asking our spine to do a little too much work and so we end up with degenerative diseases in various parts of the spine. We overtax our spine and it develops kind of an arthritis of the various joints. The spine is made up of many different bones as you can see here and many different joints. Every disc, every facet is a joint in the spine and all of those are stressed with different types of physical activity, different types of manual labor um, and also with possibly carrying too much weight on our, on our bodies. That's one of the reasons why it's so important to be physically fit and stay active and all of those things. Just to kind of explain things, uh, explain this model, so the, the skull sits up, up here and this is the bottom of the skull and so this is where the skull attaches to what's called the cervical spine, which is the neck, uh, and then below that is the thoracic spine and that corresponds to our rib cage, the part of our body that contains our lungs and our heart, and then further down is the lumbar spine or the lower back and that corresponds to our abdomen. Uh, where we carry you know, our stomach, our intestines, our liver, and where a lot of people experience pain every day. Um, and that's an area of the spine that we'll also talk about. As we go further and further down the spine, you can see the spine gets larger because it has to carry more weight. So the spine is uniquely designed so that the lumbar spine and the sacrum is the largest. And as you go up towards the thoracic spine, the bones and joints get smaller. As we go up to the cervical spine, they get smaller still because they have to carry less. All they're carrying is our head. In order for us not to experience pain in our neck and our thoracic spine and our lumbar spine, it's very important for us to have normal, intact, good spinal alignment from head all the way down to the pelvis. What does that mean? Well, if the spine is bent abnormally in a forward position like this, as can sometimes happen with abnormal thoracic kyphosis, we can develop a lot of strain in our neck and our shoulders as we lean our body forward and we have to push our head up just to be able to see in front of us and walk straight. Similarly, if you have scoliosis, an abnormal curvature anywhere in the spine further down, usually in the lumbar or the thoracic spine, that can also cause a lot of strain and, and pain uh, as you try to walk upright and correct for that abnormality. So it's very important that any spine surgeon uh, who's evaluating you or taking care of you be able to evaluate your overall global spine alignment when they deal with any individual problem within your spine. 